hey guys welcome back to my channel hope everybody is good so let me jump straight into this video so guys Antonella took to her live last night and she was venting and breaking down and saying that her life is in danger and she fear her life no guys we all know Antonella is in jamaica and she's doing a good job with helping people and she's now building her house and you also know that our cake season is coming up and in at the phone you have a set of people who anytime until then a cake season has come up them start one bag of propaganda and one only for allegations so until then i took to her live last night and she was talking and she was saying that she did her house already and a man come to fit harm her Remember, me tell you, say, one man, it come here. And when the man tell me, say, call me after. And tell me, say, it come a 99 for arm me. And him couldn't hurt me, because he say, me a good smaddy. Because me give him a bottle of water. When him come in the car, I know me no member, who, but me ever offer people water for drink. And when him did in the car, Teresa, the police, Teresa, ask her. And when she offered the man a water, the man end up couldn't him couldn't do what him come there for do. Guys, you see how people can be wicked. You see how people can be awful. Because why would you want to hurt somebody who is doing good, who is making such a good impact on the country? You know, whether it's from her baking or it's from the charity work that she do, it brings in revenue to Jamaica. It brings money to Jamaica. Our cake business brings money to Jamaica and the economy. It helps. It make people travel come. And it to send out cake, to sell cake. So it's going to help the economy any way you take it. Her doing charity is touching thousands of people's life and making a change in a lot of people's life. So... A lot of people on social media might not like her attitude and express their dissatisfaction with her or how she operates or how she do her business sometimes. But that is not good enough reason for a snuck out smarty life. On her life, she expressed that she hear a voice now today, well yesterday, that shake up her heavens and she cannot believe what she heard. She said that she cannot believe that anybody would want to harm her and she don't do nothing to nobody. No, guys, she is right. Sometime in life, when you're doing good, a lot of people may envy you. No matter how good you is, no matter how good you be to people, there's always room for bad men and covetousness. And that is just a, a, that is just a mere fact because look at her now look at auntie dana who's doing so much good in her country and you have people in social media that have platforms day in and day out just just for her about other people who don't like her and just tell a bunch of lies about her you know guys and she she seems she seems to have it to her neck because she has always said that she's leaving all vengeance to God. And that is the Bible way to go. You know, at first, as a Christian or a child of God, you're going to say you're going to leave all things to God, all vengeance to God. But at this point, she's saying that she might be going to a different route. She might be taking up some of these things into hand and deal with them because it's getting out of control. When it got to the point where you're going to threaten this lady's life over what? Over our house that she will make? Over charity money? Over what, what really? Because this lady have not done anything to anybody. We see her on the phone and we see her. She operates. She jovial. She come out. She sing. She laugh. She joke around and she help people. So why somebody don't want to hurt somebody like that? She's like the mother Teresa of Jamaica. Yeah, we can agree that so sometimes she's rough and harsh. But Jamaica is a rough and harsh place. So you can't be a simpleton more well. Or if you're a simpleton, people will walk over you and take disadvantage, which 
a lot of them already have done so guys that is no reason for people sit down on this lady name day in and day out and try to tarnish her or tarnish her brand guys back to the story where she said the guy come for harm her and the guy couldn't find this spirit or the energy for do it when he went there because when he got there she 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 overdosed him for full him with kindness and he must leave and call her back and make she know say him did come there to do something to her people send him out but when he came and she offered him a water something as simple as a water that's why we say now guys kindness can go a far way you know when you treat people with respect and you're kind to people the simplest gesture the simplest just gesture can change a person's life can change a person's whole day can change a person whole perspective of things because this man here went on a mission to anti dana house he went on a mission to do something to harm her but because him got here and she flooded him with kindness he couldn't find it in his heart and in his spirit to harm this woman he ended up calling her after he left and tell her say listen come there for do your things but because you did so kind me couldn't do it him couldn't do it which mean that it good fear try to know people for yourself don't go off of what other people say and don't go off of other people experience find out know the person for yourself before you try to harm people or you try to tarnish people's name because in social media you know them do this woman the worst yeah the two years going on three years she's in social media she dominates it and you have people who are in social media for years donkey years and you either don't know of them or don't see the, the what they really do you understand you don't see nothing specific and on out of the way and on extra and on extravagant that they do you don't see the impact that they made but you have this person now and then are coming and in two years she have done so much for so many people she has built the most house in jamaica independently with the help of donors abroad and yard and abroad let me not forget the people in a yard who can get them little, you know, it still count. And the man couldn't harm her. The man couldn't do nothing to her because she him got it and him see, him see so she's a good soul, her spirit clean. He couldn't find it in him hard for nothing to her. And until then I went on her live yesterday night and she spoke about it. And she also make mentions to Gracie and say, as bad as things be, she came out for her and she did not pay her and she did not pay anybody in social media to pick up for her or, you know, defend her. She never pay nobody or ask nobody to do it. And she says she respect and she respect Gracie because as bad as things may be, Gracie did stand up fear in her last year. Yeah. She stand up strong fear in her last year and she respect that. And even the way and him she mentioned, she gave him local lights, you know. And it's it's good where she can see that people actually out there that loves her and respect her. But at the same time, you have people who envy her for nothing at all. You have people who envy her because of the vast amount of cake that she sell. People envy her because of her popularity, because of her views on social media, and because of her following. Because whenever you're listening to these people on their platforms and social media tarnishing her name and I do her bad, the one thing that they always mention is our views and our followers and our plankatarians and our house of share bill right now. So once you go and mention all of those things it shows that 
it shows where your heart is. It shows that you have some type of envious spirit and bad mind spirit. Because all of them then have nothing to do with you. Because you have your own views, you have your own house, you have your own things then. So why are you going, you know, talk about somebody else's accomplishment in a negative way? You know? So she really was she really was she wasn't happy about what she heard today. And she come to her life to express it or disturbed she was by what she hear you know we don't know exactly what you hear because she didn't mention but we can only imagine because when she, auntie dana come out and say she have to take things in her own life and that she fear for her life that is not her usually she say you know should i put god in the midst of everything as she did but you know when she come out and can actually say no that she actually fear her life you know it's serious you know she hears something you know she sees something will make she have to reevaluate and know say something she have to take up in her hands something she have to because the heart of men are desperately wicked the bible said that you know the heart of men is desperately wicked you dare not trust your own you understand so she needs to look out her two yard and look out her head back and be extra careful because especially this food season that coming up you see it starting a phone already yeah the tarnishing start the the, the, the bandwagon start because you know anytime our season I come our cake season our pudding season something always come up people always start panar because our jealousy the amount of cake when she sent out, the amount of pudding when she sent out. Anything this lady put her hand on is golden. And as much as well, if people might not like her, a lot of people, I think majority of the people loves her. Anything she put her hand to turn gold. Anything she put her hand to is a success. So that cannot just be her. It have to be God in the midst. It have to be some superior being, whoever or whatever you believe in. It have to be God in the midst of what she's doing. So when people see she do her work and you know and she's reaping from it because God reward you. God reward you to to your works. If you do evil, God I gonna reward you. If you do God, if you do good you're going to get rewarded good. So this woman is in Jamaica and she's doing her best helping people all over the world. Whether it's laughter, whether it's a roof over the head, whether it's a night food, night rest, night dinner. She has helped in so many ways. So I don't see why and how on God's green earth would anybody want to arm some, somebody like that. Why would somebody want to arm somebody who's helping poor people? I can't understand it. I can't fathom. I can't put my mind around it. It just show that you have some people who no matter how good you be, no matter how good you is in life, you're going to have somebody who envy you for, or feel like they should be the one who are succeeding the way you are or they should be the one who should have what you have or they should not be the one where I reap what you yeah, reap because I feel like say you're not good enough for it or just them deserve it and that is so bad that is so bad so until then I come out and she was just you know just the attack and I say she see it even with Maxine she make mention to Maxine and she said baddest thing be between she and Maxine she don't think Maxine would have ever hurt a strand in her head because she just don't think so. Them talk, them not talk right now. But when they used to talk, them and them have them little, them did have them little altercation and them smash it out and clear that up and keep it moving. So she was saying that she not have a Maxine for nothing because yes, she and Maxine they have them little, you know, teeth and tongue didn't meet. And she apologized to Maxine and Maxine did apologize to her too about the drugs in the cape business and then move on from there. But the rest I think people them were in at the phone with a tarnish her name and her brand and a centric to her name something there. She say she not do them nothing. I would say she not do them nothing because she come in her phone and she mind her business. She don't do anything to them, but yet still they have platform uh 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 have campaign hate campaign for her and that's not good that's not good guys so 
All we can do right now is pray her up while she pray up herself because we know she's a prayer warrior. As bad to battle, she go on with herself when she's ready and she come out when she's ready. But we can't take that from her. She is a prayer warrior. She is and she pray hard because for her success, I know it's not just by man. That is not by man alone. God in the midst of that. So she is a prayerful person. She's a prayerful person. So all we can do is join hands in hand and pray for her and send out blood coverage for her that nothing or no one will harm her. Because Jamaica, you know, is a poverty country, you know, certain parts, majority. People live there in a poverty and people can pay people who little and nothing in a Jamaica for the people things as she mentioned quoted i'm quoting her right now fifty dollar people can give somebody fifty dollar little as fifty dollar fifty us dollar a jamaica for the people things for do our things so let's just pray her up and pray her strength so she keeps strong and keep vigilant and no say that house where she building it is carrying extra heat and we see it already we see it because we see people on platforms talking about it, making mentions of it, and all type of things are ready. And it also not done yet. So, guys, all we have to do is put Auntie Dana up in our prayers and pray so she keeps strong and pray so she don't come and break down and, you know, becomes weak because of all these tongue and, 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 and people upon our name. You know, guys? So, with no further ado, guys, we're going cut this bless upon herself stay safe and we're going to send out prayers for miss dana no one say she have to stay strong she have to stay strong yeah bless upon herself stay safe until next time bye